so students in our last class we were discussing chapter animal kingdom where uh, uh, we were discussing uh, under that chapter basis of classification that is on what basis all the animals in this world are classified into different groups each group is called phylum andre yava amshagala aadharada mele ಈ ಜಗತ್ತಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಇರುವ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಗಳನ್ನು ಗುಂಪುಗಳಾಗಿ ನಾವು ವಿಂಗಡಣೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಗುಂಪಿಗೂ ನಾವು ಫೈಲಮ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ ವೈಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ಸ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಯು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಪೋರಿಫೆರಾ ದೆನ್ ಸಿಲೆಂಟ್ರೇಟಾ ದೆನ್ ಟೀನೋಫೋರಾ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟಿ ಹೆಲ್ಮೆಂತಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕೆಲ್ಮೆಂತಿಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಎನೆಲಿಡಾ ಆರ್ಥ್ರೋಪೋಡಾ ಅಕ್ಯಾನೋಡಾರ್ಮೆಟಾ ಹ್ಯಾಮಿ ಕಾರ್ಡೇಟಾ ದೆನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡೇಟಾ ಓಕೆ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪೋರಿಫೆರಾ ಟಿಲ್ ಹೆಮಿ ಕಾರ್ಡೇಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಪೋರಿಫೆರಾದಿಂದ ಹೆಮಿ ಕಾರ್ಡೇಟ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ದಮ್ ಆಸ್ ನಾನ್ ಕಾರ್ಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಬ್ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ನಾವು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಕಶ ಅಕಶೇರುಕಗಳು ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಬೆನ್ನುಮೂಳೆ ರಹಿತ ಅಂದರೆ ಬೆನ್ನುಮೂಳೆ ಇಲ್ಲದಂತಹ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪೋರಿಫೆರಾ ಟಿಲ್ ಹೆಮಿ ಕಾರ್ಡೇಟಾ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬೋನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ದಮ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಬ್ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾನ್ ಕಾರ್ಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬೋನ್ ವಿ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ದಮ್ ಕಾರ್ಡೇಟ್ಸ್ because backbone first it will be called notochord later it changes to vertebral column okay anyway so basis of classification uh, these are points that is levels of body organization first basis then second circulatory system then uh, one more extra i told you that is digestive system complete and incomplete then circulatory system open circulatory system closed circulatory system then symmetry diploblastic triploblastic body organization coelom or body cavity then segmentation or metamerism then comes notochord we have already learned in our last class levels of body organization and circulatory system just recap we'll do of last class some animals are classified based on body organization that is andre kelavondu pranigalana ee astu pranigalu uh levels of body organization mele now classify madidu some of the animals will have only cells no tissues no organs that is porifera porifera has cellular level body organization only cells then coelenterate and tenophora tissue level body organization where cells having similar structure and function are grouped to form tissues then so it is called tissue level body organization coelenterate and tenophora then platyhelminthes and askelminthes similar tissues group to form organ so that is called organ level body organization platyhelminthes askelminthes from annelida all this till chordata all these remaining will have organ system level of body organization we come under chordata now chordata dal varti hagagi nammalli organ system level of body organization we have that means many organs are there like kidney lungs heart then pancreas then liver all these are organs but together it functions and represents one organism andre thumba angagalu idru namma dehadalli but onde prani andre onde deha agi naavu work maartive anta onde karya maartive anta okay then one more we learn digestive system incomplete digestive system complete digestive system some of the animals example platyhelminthes flat worms chappate hulugalu antivalla ಅವುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲಾಟಿ ಹೆಲ್ಮೆಂತಿಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮೌತ್ ನೋ ಏನಸ್ ಐ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಶೋ ಯು ಏನಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಯಾಕೆ ತೋರ್ಸೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೌತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏನಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಓಪ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೀವಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಥ್ರೂ ಸೇಮ್ ಓಪ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಬಾಯಿ ಮತ್ತು ಗುದ ದ್ವಾರ ಏನಿದೆ ಎರಡು ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದೇ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ಇರೋದು ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೌತ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಏನಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಮೌತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏನಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಓಪನ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ closed the circulatory system means heart pumps blood and blood passes through blood vessels and goes to entire body means heart pumps blood and blood reaches all the body parts through tube like that is blood vessels what what are those veins arteries capillaries okay venules all these 
ಅಂದರೆ ಹಾರ್ಟು ರಕ್ತನ ಪಂಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಆ ರಕ್ತ ನಮ್ಮ ಇಡೀ ದೇಹಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಮುಟ್ತದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಭಾಗಗಳಿಗೆ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಅಂದರೆ ರಕ್ತ ನಾಳಗಳ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತೀವಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದರ ಒಳಗಡೆಯಿಂದ ಹೋಗುವಂಥದ್ದು ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಆಗಿರುವ ಟ್ಯೂಬಲ್ಲಿ ಓಪನ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಪಂಪ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಬಾತ್ ಓಕೆ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಬೇಯ್ತಿಡ್ ಬೈ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಪಂಪ್ ಬೈ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಕಾಯ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತವೆ ಮೇಲಿಂದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಪಂಪ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಬ್ಲಡ್ಡು ಕಾರಂಜಿ ಥರ ಓಕೆ ಶವರ್ ಥರ ಬೀಳ್ತದೆ ಆವಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಒದ್ದೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಒದ್ದೆ ಆಗೋದಂದರೆ ವೆಟ್ ಆಗೋದಂತ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವೆಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಬೇಯ್ತಿಡ್ ಬೈ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಪಂಪ್ ಬೈ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ನಾವು ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಮೆಟ್ರಿ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಓಕೆ ಸಿಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆದರ್ ದ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಟು ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಕಟ್ ದ ಎನಿಮಲ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಟು ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವೇ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಟ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಮೆಟ್ರೀಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಎಸ್ಸಿಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ಸಿಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ರೇಡಿಯಲ್ ಸಿಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈಲ್ಯಾಟ್ರಲ್ ಸಿಮೆಟ್ರಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸೀ ನಾವು ಎಸ್ಸಿಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎನಿ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ that animal you cut from any plane but it you will not get two equal halves means equal half means 50 50 and both the half should look same both the halves should look same okay animal cannot be divided into two equal halves two equal ಹೌಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಹಾಫ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಜಿಗ್ಸೋ ಓಕೆ ಒಂದು ಕರಗಸ ತಗೊಂಡು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಯು ಕಟ್ ಯು ಕಟ್ ಮೀ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಬೋತ್ ಶುಡ್ ಲುಕ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಮಿರರ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಮಿರರ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಎರಡೂ ಕಡೆ ಭಾಗ ಒಂದೇ ಥರ ಇರಬೇಕು both the halves should look same they should have same parts is it possible no it is not possible okay then then i don't uh, then i don't belong to that type of symmetry then so asymmetry means what but in my body one thing is possible you cut me like this from top to bottom from top to bottom if you cut okay then you may get mirror image uh, you cut from here nose is cut into two parts one part will have one ear other part will have one ear okay head is divided into two equal parts then chest is divided into two equal parts don't see internal parts okay olagira bhaga nodbedi illi heltare cut here one leg one side other leg one side so you may get mirror image but any plane you cannot cut illinda hing cut madidre if you cut me this way you don't get equal part or if you cut me this way you don't get equal part only one plane one plane andre one plane means in one way you cut that is from top to bottom then you will get equal halves then that type of symmetry is called bilateral symmetry bi means two okay in latin bi means two okay mono means one nim gotide mono bi tri okay tetra phi penta six hexa hepta octa nano deca okay so like that bilateral symmetry means animal can be divided into two equal halves from only one plane then it is bilateral symmetry so animal can be divided 
इंटू टू इक्वल हाउस फ्रॉम वन प्लेन ओनली वन प्लेन मीन्स यू नो इन वन लाइक दिस दैट इज प्लेन मीन्स यू नो इन वन वे ओनली इन दिस वे यू कैनॉट रॉन्ग ओके सो बट सम एनिमल्स विल बी देर लाइक पोरीफेरा लाइक पोरीफेरा दे हैव एसिमेट्री यू कट इन एनी प्लेन यू डोंट गेट इक्वल हाउस ओके मीन्स लाइक आई विल ड्रॉ वन स्पॉन्ज ओके स्पॉन्ज you cut from any plane you don't get equal half not even from top to bottom you see you try to cut okay one side it is like this one side it is straight okay then you don't get equal half then you cut from this plane you don't get equal half then you cut from this plane you don't get equal half because see this part is different and this part looks different so if animal cannot be divided into two equal halves from any plane then it is asymmetry they don't have symmetry only andre ondu praniyanna yavude reetiyinda yavude kadeyinda neevu cut maadidru nimge eradu onde tara bhaga sigudilvo adakke naavu asymmetry anta karithivu okay then what about this symmetry human beings okay if you cut only in one plane you get equal half that is top to bottom ओके यू कट मी फ्रम हेड टू टो अरे तल का वंदे कड़े मध्यदल कटमेंगे एरूक्वल हाफ सि हिंे कटमेक्वल हाफ सी इले बरी तले इली का एरू सेम ओके बोथ आर् नाट सेम सो दट इस इफ आनिमल क्या बी डिवैडेड इंटू टू इक्वल हाफ फ्रम ओनली वन प्लेन देन इट इस बयोलैट्रल सिमेट्री then what is radial symmetry it's simple see like a circle okay i'll draw circle hing madidre animal can be divided into two equal halves from any plane but passing through the radius passing through the center if this is circle then i'll draw uh midpoint here center of the circle then you cut this animal from any plane but conditions apply passing through the radius suppose in this point i'll write r okay radius huh you cut from any plane and you cut from this way or this way or this way or this way or any plane okay but passing through the center then it is you will get two equal halves for example see if this is a animal then i'll cut this animal in this plane passing through the radius then you will get equal half see this half and this half looks same both the halves looks same or else i'll cut this animal from this plane then this half this half looks same then i'll cut the animal from this plane but passing through the center passing through the radius that's why that word radial pass because passing through the radius okay or you can cut in this way also or you take in any way any plane see i'm showing all the planes or you can cut in this plane also you can cut the animal in any plane but passing through the radius then you will get two equal halves then it is called radial symmetry okay let us take example porifera porifera is asymmetric because animal cannot be divided into two equal halves from any plane okay you don't get equal halves then it is asymm they don't have symmetry only they don't have proper shape only avugalige sariyada shape illa adakke yav plane inda cut madidru nimge eradu equal half sigudilla okay but radial symmetry means you can you will get two equal halves when you cut the animal from any plane but passing through the radius you will get two equal halves then it is radial symmetry 
but if the animal can be cut into two equal halves from only one plane andre one plane alli cut madidre matra ninge ered equal half sigutade eredne plane alli try madidre ninge sigudilla okay so if any animal can be divided into two equal halves from only one plane into two parts then it is bilateral symmetry simple okay porifera belongs to asymmetry so asymmetric comes first there see then what about radial symmetry celentreta tenophora echinodermata these belong to radial symmetry okay because animals which come under these phylums will have almost like a circular shape round shape so it can be divided into it is like a ball like a football okay you consider on football with an with a uh, jigsaw okay kargas thagondu you cut the ball from any plane but passing through the center you will get two equal halves two equal parts okay it is like that like you take cake round cake you make one point in the center you cut the cake in any plane but passing through the center you will get two equal halves okay then it is bilateral symmetry what about bilateral symmetry then all these which are those latihelminthes ascelminthes annelida arthropoda mollusca hemichordata chordata all this come under bilateral symmetry okay so first comes asymmetry porifera then celentreta tenophora and echinodermata belongs to radial symmetry then remaining all the phylums belong to bilateral symmetry so animals are classified on these points also symmetry okay so we learned about symmetry then next point next basis of classification is diploblastic and triploblastic body organization diploblastic and triploblastic you know diplo di means to or by means to diploblastic blast means skin okay blast means skin or you can say layers skin layers one by one like there are three tables we say three layers okay like that see i'll put one two three three layers fourth layer fifth layer like that okay so diploblastic means two layers what is the two layers cells present in the body are arranged in two different layers then it is diploblastic but in human beings in chordates okay cells are arranged in three different layers which are those we'll see what is that okay i'll cut the animal i'll cut the animal in the center and open and show you okay like a tube i'll cut open it and i'll show you it looks round okay so animal is cut then cells present in its body are arranged like this see group 1 okay this is outer layer i am drawing number cells here ninge bere bere i'll show you in different colors so that you can easily identify okay then inner layer i'll draw with green color cells this is number many cells are there in each layer okay so cells present in the body there are many cells millions of cells if cells are present in two different layers then it is 
called as diploblastic body organization diplo means to blast means layers okay see this is outer layer what cells you see in white color is called ectoderm ectoderm derm means skin okay because the ointments which you apply on skin it usually their name will end with derm like quadriderm quiderm like that derm then uh, we learned discussed in last class uh, after mbbs they do md in dermatology you know dermatology they study about skin skin diseases they treat skin diseases andre now charma roga tajna anthe heltivalla aa tara derm andre charma okay ectoderm ecto means outside outer layer andre horagina charma ke now ecto anta karithe olagina charma ke endo olage okay so outer layer is called ectoderm then this green cells what you see that is inner layer it is called endoderm endoderm okay then you may ask what is this pink color layer in between that doesn't contain cells okay this is one space present in the middle it is called mesoglia okay it contains undifferentiated cells undifferentiated means you know the cells doesn't have any function the cells don't have any function andre aa cell galu mesoglia dalli iro cell galige yavudu karya galilla okay it is just a waste cell no use of those cells okay you have to consider only two layers but mesoglia is one layer present but it is not considered as cell layer it is just one space okay so if cells in the body are arranged in two layers outer ectoderm and inner endoderm two layers then it is called diploblastic body organization diplo means to blast means skin okay layers so if cells present in the body are arranged in two different layers outer ectoderm in, in the inner endoderm then it is called diploblast then you uh, you can uh, understand you can think triplo means tri means three if cells are arranged in two different layers outer ectoderm inner endoderm then it is diploblastic if cells are arranged in three different layers then it is called triploblast human beings have which type of uh, body organization uh, i mean body organization that is triploblastic in our body cells are arranged in three different layers if you cut my body and see inside outside the body skin has group of cells that is outer ectoderm okay and innermost layer has endoderm in between ectoderm and endoderm there is mesoderm middle skin let us see the diagram okay but what about this space then this space is gut or stomach elementary canal see simple if you cut my body i have one space in the central for stomach ಅಂದರೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೊಟ್ಟೆ ಏನಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಹೊಟ್ಟೆ ಮತ್ತು ಜಠರ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಬರ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನನಾಳ ಈಸೋಫೇಗಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫುಡ್ ಪೈಪ್ ದೆನ್ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಫುಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಗೋ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕಟ್ ಮೀ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟ್ರ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಟ್ ಗಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಕೆನಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಜೀರ್ಣಾಂಗ ವ್ಯೂ ಹ್ಯಾ ಏನಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಅದು ಹೊಟ್ಟೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಖಾಲಿ ಜಾಗ ಇದೆ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಗಟ್ means elementary canal okay digestive system center that you should not consider as cell it is a space present inside okay it is a empty area andre kali jaga hotte olagade kali jaga idella alli cells illa adu kali jaga adanna new cells anta consider madbaru okay then what about a triploblastic body organization alli jaga ne illa okay i'll draw gut in the center okay this is gut elementary canal then outer layer ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm see i'll show different colors okay outer layer let us draw in white color okay 
okay then inner layer i'll draw in green color same like that this every part what i'm showing is a cell okay this patch entire patch is one layer see this is one layer this is one layer this is one layer like that outer layer middle layer inner layer then gut okay then central layer you see here no cells only uh, shaded but here cells are there these are differentiated cells in pink color what i am showing they have function they have their work andre ee pink kanta idella avuligi avade karya ide waste cells alla okay now you tell me if body cells cells present in the body are arranged in three different layers outer ectoderm inner endoderm means inner layer and middle mesoderm you can call mesoderm also if cells are arranged in three different layers outer ectoderm inner endoderm and middle mesoderm then it is triploblastic tree tri means three three layers outer layer ectoderm middle layer mesoderm inner layer endoderm and gut in the center okay we have human beings have triploblastic body organization in our body cells are arranged in three different layers in these phylums then tell me which are diploblastic which are triploblastic till tenophora till tenophora that is porifera coelenterata and tenophora till here these three phylums are diploblastic platyhelminthes onwards platyhelminthes ascelminthes annelida arthropoda mollusca echinoderma hemichordata chordata all these are from platyhelminthes to chordata all these are triploblastic okay so diploblastic comes first then comes triploblast so we come under chordata so we have triploblastic body organization okay did you understand porifera cylindrata and tenophora phylums have diploblastic then remaining platyhelminthes to chordata remaining all have triploblastic ओके बॉडी ऑर्गेनाइज अंदर ही फर्स्ट मूरु फाइल हमारे लिए डिप्लोब्लास्टिक ही थे लास्ट ये उल्टे अलग फाइल हमसे लिए डिप्लोब्लास्टिक ही थे ओके सो फोर्थ पॉइंट आल्सो वी डिस्कस्ड नाउ फिफ्थ पॉइंट इन दिस ओनली इन सम एनिमल्स इन सम एनिमल्स व्हाट दिस पिंक लेयर यू सी इन बिटवीन which doesn't have no which doesn't contain any cell but it is not mesoglia it is different from mesoglia andre kelavond animals alli ee mesoderm matte endoderm madhyadalli kali jaga irutade okay aa kali jaga ke naavu space coelom anta karithe coelom or body cavity in english it is called body cavity cavity andre space okay in our body if space is there without cells empty okay area then it is called coelom in biology in english we call it as body cavity okay why it is called coelom because you know biology in biology most of the words derived from most of the words are derived from latin or greek andre biology alli thumba almost 90% more than 90% ella shabdagalu latin matte greek bhashe inda bandirutade adakke ಅದೇ ಥರ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದೇ ಭಾಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸೀಲೋಮ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟಿ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದರ್ which phylums have that all that okay so next point coelom or body cavity <coughs> pronunciation differs i know but you cannot uh, 
by looking at the spelling here you cannot call it as soilum or coelum and all that is wrong pronunciation okay one one, one of my friend was there uh, <laughs> he used to say like capacity for capacity okay like uh, tongue spelling is this way no t o n g u e he used to call this as tongue you okay <laughs> but tongue you is wrong pronunciation you know <laughs> you you should call it as tongue only tongue okay so this is now c o e l o m that is coelom correct pronunciation okay body cavity some animals till platyhelminthes orifera silentrata tinophora and platyhelminthes till platyhelminthes andre platyhelminthes varege ಈ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಫೈಲಮ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಮೀಸೋಡಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಡ್ರೋಡಮ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಮೀಸೋಡಮ್ ಮಧ್ಯದ ಲೇಯರ್ ಮತ್ತು ಒಳಗಿನ ಲೇಯರ್ ದ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಮೀಸೋಡಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಎಂಡ್ರೋಡಮ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಟ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ ಎ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ಸೇ Uh, reproduction sexual reproduction asexual reproduction okay a means without andre a andre adanna bittu anta a coelomate andre adralli coelom illa space illa because see platyhelminthes name only says flat worms chapate hulugulu antivalla it is like chapati flat in the chapati will you get uh, will you have space in between andre chapati il olagade dodda jaga irthada illa flat adu okay so porifera cylindrata tinophora platyhelminthes these are acelomates let us see the diagram diagram al heng kaanta anta nodu simple gut madhyadalli there is gut in the center alimentary canal then comes outer ectoderm middle mesoderm and endoderm this is ectoderm this is mesoderm this is endoderm in between mesoderm and endoderm no space andre mesoderm matte endoderm madidal kali jagane illa pack you think cells are here cells are there okay here also cells are there immediately where there is space no space then it is that type of animals are called acelomates andre yava animal alli mesoderm matte endoderm madidalli jagane illa kali jagane illa avugalige ಖಾಲಿ ಜಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲದೇ ಇರುವಂಥ ಆ್ಯನಿಮಲ್ಗಳು ಅಂದರೆ ಎ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಸಿಲೋಮ್ ನೋ ಬಾಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಮೀಸೋಡಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಡೋಡಮ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ಸ್ ಪೊರಿಫೆರ ಸಿಲಿಂಟ್ರೇಟ ಟಿನೋಫೋರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟಿ ಹೆಲ್ಮೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅದರ್ ಆ್ಯನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ like other animals means ascalminthes you leave it comes under third category annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata hemichordata chordata from annelida onwards annelida ginta kelage annelida nu hidu edrinda kelage including annelida all these annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata hemichordata chordata all these are coelomates ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ ಸಿಲೋ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಅವುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇದೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸೀ ದ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಗಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಗಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಮೈ ಗಟ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಮೈ ಗಟ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಎಸ್ಟರ್ಡೆ ಅಂದರೆ ನನ್ನ ಏನು ಹೊಟ್ಟೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಒಂದು ಭಾವನೆ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಏನಂದರೆ ಅವನು ಬಂದಿದ್ದ ನಿನ್ನೆ ಕಾಲೇಜಿಗೆ ಓಕೆ ಮೈ ಗಟ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಏಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೇನ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ನನ್ನ ಒಳಗಿನ ಭಾವನೆ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಮಳೆ ಆಗಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಗಟ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಹೊಟ್ಟೆ ತೋರಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ವಿ ಶೋ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಗಟ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಂದರೆ ನನ್ನ ಒಳಗಿನ ಭಾವನೆಗಳು ಇನ್ನರ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಗಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಕೆನ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಔಟರ್ ectoderm then 
measure down then endoderm see i am showing endoderm here the space is here space i am showing in orange color see this is space because see this layer is ectoderm this is mesoderm and this is <coughs> endoderm <coughs> outer ectoderm middle mesoderm and inner endoderm what is this this i am asking about this orange color patch that is a space present no cells present there andre orange color en torusta idinalla nanu adu kali jaga alli adu cells illa alli adu jeevakoshagalu illa this is mesoderm this is endoderm in between mesoderm and endoderm there is space that is called coelom so animals which have coelom are coelomates like we say people living in india are indians okay andre bharatadalli hutturarella bharatiyaru anta ಹಾಗೆ ಯಾವ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಯ ದೇಹದಲ್ಲಿ ಸೀಲೋಮ್ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಸೀಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೀಲೋಮ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟಿ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೀಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಸೀಲೋಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಸೀಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಸೀಲೋಮ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಎ ಸೀಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿ ಇಸ್ ದರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಯೂಡೋ ಸೀಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ pseudo word refers to false okay again not a english word okay most of the words in biology <laughs> you know you have biated this are derived from latin or greek andre thumba biology alli thumba padagalu latin matha greek inda vandu pseudo means false andre sullu anta kannadadu pseudo means false coelomate means you know false coelom is there looks like there is space but there is it is filled with some false cells false cells means you know uh, which the cells which are not useful useless cells andre yenu upayogak barade iruvanta jeeva koshagalu cells olagade irthadu adanna now space anta helikka agudilla okay see i'll rub this only this part okay then they are filled with some cells like this see can you see this outer ectoderm middle mesoderm inner endoderm and what is this green color part okay that is actually coelom but coelom is having some cells see green color these these are pseudo cells false cells andre ಆ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಯಾವುದಕ್ಕೂ ಉಪಯೋಗಕ್ಕೆ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಯೂಸ್ಲೆಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಲೆಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಸಿಲೋಮ್ ಸ್ಯೂಡೋ ಸಿಲೋಮ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಸುಳ್ಳು ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಅಂತ ಸ್ಯೂಡೋ ಸಿಲೋಮ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿಚ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸ್ಯೂಡೋ ಸಿಲೋಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸ್ಯೂಡೋ ಸಿಲೋಮ್ ಐ ಎಲ್ ಹೈಲೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆರೆಂಜ್ ಕಲರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕೆಲ್ ಮೆಂತಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕೆಲ್ ಮೆಂತಿಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ವಾಮ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ದುಂಡು ಹುಳಗಳು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಲ್ಲ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಶೇಪ್ ವಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಮ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ದುಂಡು ಹುಳಗಳು ರೌಂಡ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅನಿಸ್ತದೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅನಿಸ್ತದೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇದೆ ಬಟ್ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಬೇಡದೇ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಯೂಡೋ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಸೀಲೋಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೊರಿಫೆರಾ ಸಿಲಿಂಡ್ರೇಟಾ ಟೀನೋಫೋರಾ ಪ್ಲಾಟಿಯಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀಲೋಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ ಮೆಂತಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಯೂಡೋ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಮ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ರಿಮೇನಿಂಗ್ ಎನ್ ಎಲ್ ಇಡಾ ಟು ಕೋಡೇಟಾ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಿಲೋಮ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಇಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಸ್ಯೂಡೋ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ರಿಮೇನಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಲೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಆನ್ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಲೋಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್
what is sixth point there segmentation also called as metamerism again metamerism is not an english word okay segmentation is english word you know segmentation means body body of the animal is externally and internally divided into chambers chambers means like a rooms okay when you look at snake outer skin has layers lines you know that is only externally present outside the body but inside the body it doesn't have lines so it is not segmentation then segmentation means body is externally and internally divided into rooms or chambers that rooms or chambers are called segments i'll show you especially only one phylum is based on segmentation separate compared to all other phylums i'll show you here in yellow color that is annelida phylum annelida has segmentation remaining phylums doesn't have segmentation and the annelida phylum al matra segmentation bartade ulud yavadarlu segmentation barudilla adrinda that is why annelida separate phylum it it is distinguishing character of annelida compared to all other phylums andre vishishta character enide vishishta character annelida ge bere ella phylum ginta adu different anta okay metamerism uh, one of the member of annelida will take example okay just to make you understand andre annelida gumpina ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾಣಿಯನ್ನು ನಾವು ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲಿಗೆ ಅರ್ಥ್ವಮ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ನೆಲಿಡ ಅಂದರೆ ಎರೆ ಹುಳ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಎರೆ ಹುಳ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅರ್ಥ್ವಮ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ನೆಲಿಡ ಒನ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಡ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ರಫ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಒಂದು ರಫ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಎರೆ ಹುಳ ಬಿಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅರ್ಥ್ವಮ್ ಓಕೆ ವೇರ್ ಅರ್ಥ್ವಮ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ lines on its body you know like this you know andre ere ullad mai mele gere irtadu ee tara nee nodirbeku okay these lines are segments segments means same but these are called segments or also called as metameres segments in english or in their language in latin we call it as metameres that means animal is divided into chambers or segments not only externally internally also andre bari horagade inda separate agidalla olagade nu separate separate chambers separate rooms okay like one classroom is one segment the next classroom is second segment next classroom is third segment like that rooms chambers okay so body is externally and internally divided into segments or chambers then it is called segmentation means simple segmentation means process of making segments and the segmentation and the segment maartta hogude segmentation segments are also called metameres so segmentation is also called as metamerism okay segments are also called as metameres so segmentation is also called metamerism okay earthworm has metamerism then leech leech means you know now kannada dal umbla anta helthivalla umbla leech uh, when it bites you know uh, on the skin you will not come to know pain because it releases chemical that is like uh, anesthesia you know uh, you will not feel pain it sucks blood leech if you see okay it walks like this moves like this this way uh on its body also there are lines that is segmentation like if you see a leech you know its body has segments like this so body of leech and body of earthworm there are many examples for annelida phylum annelida so all the members which comes under phylum annelida see word annelida meaning you know annulus means the word annulus means rings 
rings means you know these are rings only segments are nothing but circular rings one below the other and then now when we make uh, wells you know wells they put uh, concrete uh, rings you know one after the other and then bavi maduaga concrete in the cement in the rings that each ring is like a segment each ring so animal is having a rings one after the other so that is why an annelida which is having rings nothing but segments so separate phylum is made uh, that is annelida based on one basis that is segmentation okay so segmentation means animal is externally and internally divided into segments or metamers so the process is called segmentation or metamerism then last last basis of classification that is not a cord nothing but backbone andre bennu mule last basis of classification then after this class each phylum in detail we are going to learn with all the animals which comes under each phylum andre idad nantra basis of classification ad nantra prati phylum nu now detail aag kalithe enu prati phylum na character amal yav yav animals phylum al bartade all that we are going to learn okay so last basis of classification seventh that is not a cord bennu mule okay backbone so we we already know this starting from porifera till hemichordata all these are non chordates they don't have without not a cord they are non chordates see that word not a cord ends with the word cord you know one which doesn't have a cord is non chordate with not a cord we have backbone namge back ben mule idala animal which has not a cord or ends with cord you know with not a cord it is chordate so in the classification while me these phylums non chordate comes first then comes chordate andre ee group group maduvaga animals na non chordate first bartade porifera dinda hemichordata then comes chordate okay so the on these seven points based on these points animals are uh, grouped into different phylums okay so i hope you all all have understood this very well i think now you understood what are the uh, basis of classification so keep watching my class you can make notes because what is there in the textbook everything i write on the board not even one point missing andre nanu textbook alli idu one point bidide ella point nu board mel barithene adike nimge notes maadlikke very easy okay ella points baritta idine one one point tick maadi uh, i am explaining okay i am ticking every point and i am explaining separately so these phylums also separately i am writing which is uh, along with this it is not there in the textbook to make it easy for you i am uh, writing all this and nimge easy agli anta na ella phylums prati class alli barita iddene because of that uh, you will come to know correct order of these phylums andre adrinda nimge yav phylum nantra yav phylum bartu anta clear agi ondu idea bartu okay so please uh, keep watching my classes and please study okay thank you